Tonight you can tell that you're in pain, but that you are a fighter and you're going to keep going. Oh, Alfonso got you with the tears, didn't he? I'm tearing up right now. A big night, emotional night on both Dancing with the Stars and The Voice. Yeah, these TV competitions are getting uh, very exciting, mm -hmm. emotional, as we just said, and we were backstage at both. We, we're definitely gonna rest yeah. and no drinks for you. I need one. You get one. I need, I need just okay. a little number. Okay. Just a little number. Look at his neck, his poor neck from doing this trick. Just a lot of bruises. Lots of bruises. <laughs> so many bruises. I pulled something yesterday and it's been pretty bad. Yeah, I'm just hoping I can make it through the rest of this week. They are beat up, but number one in prime time. Dancing semifinals average more than 14 and a half million viewers, while The Voice averaged just under 11 million. And I still get well, just hours from now, the ranks of The Voice will get thinner. Two of the top 12 will go home. The only big mess up last night came from Luke Wade. And I can't sleep. Coach Farrell told us, no big deal. Luke had a moment where the track came apart for a second, but he held it down. I mean, his recovery was awesome. Short of singing an entire song as well as you can, singing most of it seems to be the next best thing.